G'day guys, how are we going? Well, recovery gear. Now this is something that everyone should have in their own full drive before you head out into the bush. And in this video, we're gonna have a chat about just a couple of simple basic safety tips that you might wanna think about before you go using any of this gear. So we'll have a chat about the metal bow shackle. We'll also have a chat about the, the new soft shackle. Plus, we've got a couple of snatch straps here. We'll have a chat about those and a couple of options on how to join them together safely in case you gotta get a you know, bit extra room down the back if one strap doesn't reach so we've got a little bit to get through let's get into this video okay so down the back here before i give you just a couple of options how i'd hook my snatch straps up to the back of my full drive here um, i'll roll my straps out and i'll show how i lay them out on the ground whenever i'm doing a snatch recovery but something you want to think about before you go grabbing a strap out and that is just make sure you don't ever confuse a winch extension strap for a snatch strap. They're two totally different straps for two totally different purposes. So you wanna make sure that you don't ever grab one of these for one of those. Now they, they are clearly labeled on, on what they are. This one clearly says, you know, it's, it is a winch extension strap. And same with a snatch strap, they've got their tags on them to tell you exactly what they are. So don't confuse these for one of those and you'll be all good. So we'll roll my straps out and I'll show you the next stage from there. Right. Leave that there. Okay, so I've got my snatch strap all laid out on the ground, nice and flat, no twists and turns in it. Because one thing you want to do with any sort of recovery, you want to make sure that you take your time and set your gear up properly, and that way it's going to be safer for everyone involved. So from there, I just grab my snatch strap and I bring it back on itself. So I come down probably a, oh, probably a good couple of metres, couple of metres like so, and I just double it over the top of itself like that and lay it out there nice and flat. So the reason why I do that is, because I know when I take off, the top of this strap is just going to peel off there. No worries at all. It's not, got, not going to get bound up or caught up on anything. And it'll snatch that vehicle out of its bog situation down the back there. But also, it's this couple of metres here that gives me enough time to gain some momentum up before the strap takes up and starts the tension on your bog vehicle down the back there. But just the last thing you want to do before you go, before you go into your recovery, grab yourself your cable blanket put that under there like so and I generally just sit that just at the back of that last loop there so it's out of the road of everything in case something does break it's going to fall straight to the ground and be all good so I'll grab that loop and I'll show you how to hook it up a couple of options on the back of the troll and we'll go from there so just before I show you a couple of options on how to hook the loop on your snatch strap on the back of your full drive firstly you want to make sure you've got rated recovery points now these things here um, you know, they turn up on social media sometimes and people do sometimes use these things for snatch recoveries and fair income. The only good thing that these are used for is absolutely just towing a trailer. Don't ever put, I'm not even gonna put it on, but don't ever put a snatch strap over the top of tow ball and drag a vehicle out of a bog situation because these things will break in heartbeat. They're not a rated recovery for the, you know, the thousands of ton load that you put on a vehicle when you're trying to get out of a bog. So. If this strap snaps or if that head breaks off in a, in a snatch recovery, it's gonna go straight through the windscreen of the vehicle down the back there and potentially kill somebody. So don't ever, ever use a tow ball for a recovery situation. Trailers only. So this is the one I've got here. This is a rated hitch receiver I've got here. And all I use this for, I've got a bolt that I put in through there. This is where my metal shackle comes into play. That goes in through the hole there like so. Screw that down, and when you get to the end, just back it off a quarter of a turn. And the reason why you do that is because after you've you know you've done your snatch recovery, sometimes these can bind up and can be really hard to undo. So just make sure you screw it all the way down and then just back it off a quarter of a turn, and she'll come undone every single time. Or the other option is if I just take that out of that back out of there again, if you haven't got you know a, a receiver like so, you can always just take your when I get it, take that out, take that out, and then you can use this as your rate of recovery point. So the loop just goes through there. So the pin goes through the loop there like so, and that is absolutely safe to use for your recovery in case you don't have a rated block like that's got, which slides into there. But as I say, don't ever use a tow ball. So that's your couple of options, but just make sure whatever recovery point you've got on the back of your vehicle, just make sure it's a rated re recovery point and not just something you know you just bolt on with a couple of bolts and jobs done because it is absolutely not safe to use anything but those couple of options there 
and then be a safe recovery when you drag that vehicle out down the back there. So there's your couple of options there. I'll grab this other snap strap out, we'll take it down there, and I'll show you how to join the two snap straps together in case you're needing a bit more room, a bit more length to grab that vehicle from its bog situation. Okay, so just to talk about a couple of options down here with how to join two snap straps together, you know, absolutely safely. Well, when it comes to these metal bow shackles, this is exactly the same situation I talked about up there when I talked about the toe ball. They're never ever to be used in a recovery situation with joining two straps together. Because if you put this in the middle of these two straps to join together, and if one of these straps break under the massive tension and load that, that these straps are under in a recovery situation, because they're like a big rubber band, these straps, and that's why it, you know, it levers the, the bog vehicle out under the tension once that front vehicle takes off. But if you've got that join in these two straps together, and one of these straps happen to break, well, it's gonna be 50-50 chance on which way this is going to go. It's either gonna shoot forward and punch through the back window of the recovering vehicle and potentially hit the driver smack in the back of the head and kill you every day of the week. Or it's gonna go backwards and punch straight through the vehicle's windscreen that you're trying to get out of that bog situation down there. And yep, it'll kill you for sure. So don't ever, ever use one of these to join two snap straps together. Now, this is where the soft shackles are absolutely just one of their fantastic uses for this sort of situation. Now, this one here from Carbon Winch, these are rated at 14,000 kilos. So that's a stack of braking strain on these for the job that they need to do. So you just drop that in through there like so. That one in there through the loop like that. Join them back together again. Put the loop over the nut like so. And there we go. That is an absolutely 100% safe way to join two straps together. So I'll pull this apart and I'll show you one more option when it comes to looping them through and joining them together that way. Okay, so this is the second option for joining two snap straps together. What you do is grab one end like so. This is the strap that's gone up to the vehicle at the front there. Just put that through the loop there like so. Grab the other end of the snap strap that's gonna go to the vehicle you're trying to get out of its bog situation and just loop that back through the, the same loop strap on the one you've got. So just pull all, of that, all that all the way through, <clears throat> like so, and then you end up with this sort of thing. Now that is a great way and certainly a safe way of doing a, a snatch recovery with joining two straps together, but there's just one more thing you need to do before you go and load these things up. Now, if you just take off now and just and rip that vehicle out of its bog, bog where it is sitting down there, these this knot is gonna these are gonna to come together and you'll never ever get them apart. So you'll end up with just one big massive snatch strap. So either grab a magazine or a bit of newspaper because we've all got newspaper in the back of our four wheel drive when we go camping. Just put that in between the loops like so. Feed that down there. Now you don't need it all the way through, it's only just got a catch. And that'll just make it nice and easy. There we go, to get that undone. So the time you've taken off, drag your vehicle out of the bog where it is down there. This will be nice and easy to get out. So it's just a matter of pulling the paper out like so, and then pull your straps apart and you're ready to go. Continue on down the track till you maybe get bogged again. But um, So that's a couple of ways how I set my snatch straps up. So I'll go up the front of my four wheel drive and I'll give you a couple of options up there. How I set things up, up the front there. So up the front of my patrol here, I've got this rated recovery hook here. You know, these come standard actually with the patrols. So they, that's pretty cool that these come standard. Um, I do have a couple of holes on the other side of the chassis there that I could put another one of these, which I really should get around to doing that because having two recovery points, one each side, is certainly a great idea. And I'll grab a tree trunk protector out in a minute and I'll show you a couple of options what you can do that, particularly if you've got a recovery point either side. But I've just got this hook here, so all I do is just put the loop over the top there like so, over the top of that, and that's never going to come off. It's got this little foot on the back here, so it can't, you know, fall off. And that's how I would get pulled out of a bog situation. Well, if I was ever going to get in one of those, but... Um, so, yeah, so that's how I just hook it on there. But, again, make sure they're rated recovery points. Um, sometimes some of these aftermarket um, plate recovery points that you can buy, they're certainly rated well worth getting hold of but they don't have a hook situation. Generally, they just got a hole through them. So in those sort of recovery points, you just have to grab your shackle out and you know put it through the hole, put your strap in through there, again, like so. And then wherever you, the hole is, just screw it back up and that would be your recovery point. 
But just a couple of things you want to just really remember with some of these holes. I mean, some bull bars have them, which this one doesn't, but um, they generally got a bit of a hole just in the plate of down sometimes in the bottom of these bull bars. We'll never ever use those as a recovery point because they'll pull out of there in a heartbeat in a really tough recovery situation. So just make sure you've only got rated recovery points front and rear and, um, and everything will go pretty well smoothly. Now, I'll grab that tree trunk protector out and I'll just show you another way how you can... Um, hook that up if you've got two recovery points just balances that load up when you're in a recovery bog trying to get out of there so i'll grab that out we'll hook that up all right guys i'll just show you this last scenario here for setting a snatch strap up nice and safely on the front of your full drive now this is particularly good if you've got two rate of recovery points one either side of your full drive so you'd grab out your tree trunk protector which you use for any winching operation to wrap around a tree but they're also very handy to use as a bridle so you got one hook there one of your loops is hanging around on that rated hook there and then if you got another one on the other side you'd put it over on that side there but before you do that you just thread the the, the loop of the tree trunk protector through the loop on your snatch strap that would then go up onto your rated hook on that side and what that does it then gives you a lot more center line and pull and also it halves the load on both of those hooks which is certainly a lot safer option so that is certainly a great way to um you know again for hooking up your snatch strap on those both couple of options but always guys make sure you're using rated recovery gear and rated rated straps and all that sort of stuff and that way it's going to be a lot safer for everyone so i hope those few tips have helped you guys out on some pretty simple basic safety setup tips on how to set straps up front and rear on your full drive and fair chance I reckon I'll see you out in the bush someday, so I'll pack this gear up and head for home.